Hey everybody, today we are doing a unboxing, opening slash teardown of our lithium iron phosphate battery. Our, this is our 300 amp hour version. Uh, this is considered 12, a 12 volt battery drop-in replacement. It's 12.8 volts nominal um, at 300 amps, which gives you 3,840 watts. Uh, these are great in uh, off-grid homes, RVs, campers, sailboats, van conversion, bus conversion, schoolie conversion, stuff like that. Anywhere you need to store energy for use later down the road or, or later on, um, these are perfect for that. And this is an absolute powerhouse of energy. It's our largest that we sell. First, I'm going to talk a little bit about the physical characteristics, um, and then we'll open it up and we'll just talk about stuff um, as we go along here. First thing is the weight. It comes in at 60 pounds, which is 12 pounds more than our 200 amp hour version, which is 48 pounds. 20 by 20.55 inches this way by 9.37 inches this way by 8.5. 8.54 inches in height and add another inch or so for the terminals. It has polycarbonate handles on the side which are removable. You just push it out here and then slide it over and pull it out and the handles can be removed that way. For the bolts we have eight millimeter bolts. Um, they come with lock washers and you also get a couple of extras. All right so that covers the weight, that covers the dimensions and now we'll talk a little bit about what's going on inside. So the BMS is made by Jabita. It's their, uh, I'm gonna call them JBD from now on. JBD is uh, kind of the acronym that for, the, for the company, the BMS company. This, we have 150 amp hour BMS in here, and so that makes the max charging current and max discharge current 150 amps. So with that Bluetooth uh, BMS, there's we have a link up on the top here. You can go and download the app. Um, it'll take you to our website, and then there, there you'll have a link for either the App Store or the Google Play Store, and you can go there and download the third-party apps that were made by JBD or contracted by JBD. I just call them third-party apps because we don't control them, we don't make them. The Android app, to be honest, is a little quirky and there is a much better, um, ad, I call it the admin version because it unlocks everything. You can change parameters and stuff. If you shoot us an email, support at rebelbatteries.com, we'll send it to you. If you don't want to wait, you can find it on the web pretty easily. Um, just do a search for JBD admin or JBD 3.1, I believe. Um, it'll, it'll pop up in some, some forums and other places where you can download that. It comes as an APK file. You just download it to your phone and you install it like a, like a Windows EXE file. It's pretty simple. Um, it's pretty intuitive and not very hard to install, but it is, a, it is outside of the Google Play Store, so that's something to be aware of. All right, enough about that. You want to see what's inside the battery, I know. I only have one camera, so I'm going to adjust the camera over to the side, and I'll change the microphone around a little bit so we can, I can talk a little bit as we walk through it. So bear with me here. Okay, so opening this beast up, you can uh, see quickly the, the main components. You got a Bluetooth module connected to the BMS. The BMS has uh, two wires attached to the negative terminal of the battery pack, and those come into the BMS and then out the negative over here. And then the positive wires are connected directly to the positive terminal on the BMS. You got a little bit of foam here, and that what that does is press against the top here and holds it in place securely. Um, you'll, there's also double-sided tape on the bottom of this, and it's, it's an extremely difficult to get off adhesive uh, 3M tape. So this battery is going to somebody that's doing a review for a magazine, and so I don't want to tear it up too, too badly. Um, but I do want to at least try to get the top off, so we're gonna, I'm going to try to cut the seams here so you can see the cells underneath and what's going on there. And at the factory, what they do is they use ABS glue. And it's the same kind of, well, it's similar to the glue that you use when you put PVC pipe together, if you've ever done that. Or it makes it liquid tight. And then with the epoxied um, terminals down here, it's, that, it's even more liquid tight. So no water is ever going to get in here. You can use these in high moisture environments. Something I will note on this one, there's no Bluetooth switch on this. So uh, I'm going to do another video about the switch and the power consumption on it. But future batteries are going to come with a switch. And they're going to look like this. We changed from our old style switch, which was a rocker switch, to a push button. These are much more waterproof. Um, and before our rocker switches, we would put a rubber boot over the top. With these, we're not going to have to do that anymore. There's going to be a rubber gasket around here, and that's going to go down. So if you see, if you go to buy these batteries, you're going to see a switch on them on the, on the ad, and it's going to show this. For our second order, this was our second shipment, we didn't have the switch installed for the Bluetooth, and it's a hard switch that actually connects to the wires. They, they cut the, splice the wire, 
and one goes to the switch, the other goes to uh, the board, because it basically cuts the power off. It hard disconnects the, the Bluetooth module. So, any, so basically the point is, um, if you buy this battery in the future from this date forward, it is gonna have a switch. It's gonna be the upgraded waterproof switch. All right, so all I'm gonna do is take the lid off of this so you can see the cells underneath. You can see how they're put together there. Um, but I will cut the seams here and we'll try to lift this up as best we can without damaging anything. Make sure I get my safety glasses on. All right, here we go. Let's see. All right, we broke the tape loose. Let's see. I think this is the best I'm gonna get here Just to show the packs. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take these bolts off now so I can lift this whole plate off and it looks like it, it'll basically come out as one piece. So yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. See that it says 150 amps on it. So it is a 150 amp. It's crimped and soldered inside of there. I'm not sure if you can see that. You can see the solder splattered out. Now I think we are free to move this out of the way. All right, I know I said I was gonna try to do a minimally invasive procedure here, but uh, I gotta get the foam out if I wanna get the cells out. And I really like to see, I want everybody to see the tops of the cells and kind of how they're, they're built. So I'm gonna use a sheetrock cutter here to get the foam out. All right, here goes. I should get that out. Oh, man. All right, that is out. Still not going to come up. I think next step is going to be well, let's vacuum it, and then I think it's going to be a heat gun on the bottom to loosen that. That stuff. I've been holding this on here for almost five minutes. Just drop. It's not coming, not even budging. So because this is going out for a review um, to somebody writing an article on it, I want to try to get it back as closely as I can to um, factory and then get that shipped off to them. But I have this guy. The Bluetooth wasn't working. I'm not sure if it was a switch issue or what, but I cannot get it working. I've tried reconfiguring this. So I'm planning to cut this one open anyway. This is a no kidding off the shelf for a customer uh, that was returned for Bluetooth not working. It was the only one that we've had returned so far. Um, we swapped it right out for the customer and they got another 300. And uh, this has been sitting in the corner too. So we are going to cut this sucker open and we will, we will get the cells out of this one. All right, so we got the same, basically four cells in here that we had on the other one, like I said. We would. All right, well, first things first, we can cut this end off and see where that gets us. There we go. It's 
Free. Ah, freedom. I tell you what, anybody worried about, that, that was thinking maybe these aren't sealed in good enough inside of the battery, I think you don't have anything to worry about. Just four cells. Yay, this is what we've been trying to get to. Here's your bottom view. All right, so that is, this is what you're getting. These are the four cells, 300 amp hour cells. You can see on top here, the uh, bus bars have balance leads that have been riveted onto them. And then the, the bus bars themselves are actually uh, mechanically welded onto the tops of the batteries. These are not user serviceable. So having nuts on top is not, uh, is not a priority. Um, just having them never come apart is a priority. And these welds have proven themselves time and time again. So, all right guys, that's really about it. Um, I spliced in the cutting. I haven't cut open the battery yet. What you just saw, I'm actually gonna splice in after I do this. I gotta get this in the mail. Uh, last thing I wanted to address was a capacity test. So I'm not gonna do a capacity test on this. One, because I'm time limited and because I've done these before for other batteries, I do spot check these periodically. In fact, I have um, a metal case battery behind me right now that I'm spot checking. I charged it up earlier and I, I've got a test meter on it and it's, charge, it's discharging it right now. I do that randomly for all the batteries that come in um, and it's just, just to make sure that they're you know, spot checked. All right, I hope you liked the video. That's it, I'm gonna wrap it up. I am gonna go back and do the 200 amp hour battery, um, but that's just gonna be cracking it open and talking real quickly about it. That'll be our next video. Uh, thanks for watching, these are fun to do. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video and don't, don't forget to subscribe. Click the bell icon so you get notified when we drop more videos like this. After the 200, we are gonna do our smaller batteries. We got a 50 amp, a 24 amp, 12 amp hour, and six amp hour all, all on the lineup. So stay tuned. Yeah, all right, thanks for watching.